I've got the Xiaomi Poco M3 here today. And my last video showed you how to gain root access to this device. With that comes a lot of experimentation that I know a lot of people in the community are going to do. And that's going to result in, or that can result in a boot loop if you're not familiar with what you're flashing on the device. It can also result in some unexpected bugs. Again, depending on what you install, if you're not familiar with the compatibility issues with the Poco M3 or with the latest version of Android in general, you may end up having some issues with your device. So for those people who are running into issues with their Poco M3, today's video will be walking you through how to unbrick this device which is also how to fix a boot loop and even how to simply just return to the stock factory firmware, which in this case is MIUI for the Poco M3. Now, before you begin, you're going to need to have some things set up ahead of time. Naturally, we are working with an, a Poco M3 with an unlocked bootloader. You're also going to need to download the Mi Flash tool on your computer. It needs to be downloaded and extracted onto the PC. And you're also going to need to download the firmware for your smartphone that actually matches the country version that you want to install. So I'm going to be linking this website in the video description for you to go and download the firmware. Since I'm running the global Poco M3, I'm simply going to search this list for the global variant. We want to make sure that we download the fast boot version, which is larger. It's four gigabytes as opposed to two gigabytes. So whenever we scroll through, you're going to see a download link for that fast boot file. However, whenever you go to the download page, you're also going to see two download links. Remember, one is for the recovery image, the recovery ROM. The other is for the fast boot ROM. We want to download the four gigabyte fast boot version. So we'll be downloading the full ROM from here. We also need to have our device running in fast boot mode. We do that by first powering off the Xiaomi Poco M3 smartphone. Once you see that black screen, we're going to wait a few seconds just to make sure the device is actually turned off and that the screen is not just turned off. Once we know the phone is turned off, we're going to press the power and volume down buttons at the same time. And we're going to continue holding those two buttons down until we get into fast boot mode. And again, if you're not familiar with how to do that, I've done a dedicated tutorial showing you how to get into fast boot mode. And we're also going to need to connect this phone to our PC with a USB cable. And then we'll turn our attention to the PC so that we can extract that firmware. So just to give you a look at what the download or the firmware looks like, here is our four gigabyte original download of the firmware. I extract the contents of this file using 7-zip. You can also use WinRAR. That will actually extract to another single file. It's another compressed file. We go from TGZ to a TAR file. This one is going to be larger. It's going to be seven gigabytes. Then when we extract the contents of this file, we get a folder. So when we look in that folder, we're going to see this set of files. So you're going to want to extract the contents of your firmware download until you see a set of files that look like this. Then Due to limitations of the Mi Flash tool, this program that we're going to use here in a minute, we're going to take and we're going to copy all of these files. We can either cut it or we're going to copy. 
and they need to go into a base folder on your hard drive. So you can see here, when we've extracted the contents of this firmware, it's creating a huge file path and we need to reduce that, again, due to the limitations that I've noticed with MeFlash. And the best way to do that is by simply creating a new folder at the base of the, firm, of the hard drive. And then we're going to copy all of these files into that folder. So here we have that new folder. I've gone to my E drive doesn't matter which hard drive you can do this on your C drive if you want but I've just created a simple folder called test this folder name can be anything as long as there's no spaces and let's just keep it simple with a very short name and as I said I pasted all of those images into this file so that our file path to this folder is short it's only e colon backslash test and we're going to take that, we're going to copy that entire path right here because we need to put it into here. So here is the me flash program that you've already downloaded and extracted. We just open this up. We're going to go into this box right here. And we're going to paste the file path to that folder. It needs to be the file path or the folder path to all of these files. And what you're also going to want to do is you're going to want to look at the bottom here. You're going to want to make sure that the clean all option is highlighted. By default it's going to be set to the clean all and lock and that's going to relock your bootloader. Not many people want to do that. You can do that if you want but not many people want to do that. Instead, we're just going to choose the clean all option right there. Once we have that set up, we can then connect our POCO M3 to the PC with the USB cable. And then we're going to click this refresh button right here. Assuming you have the proper USB drivers installed and your PC can detect the phone while it's in fast boot mode, you should get this device option right here. This was clear before. When you click refresh, we should get that right there. So once you are ready, again, make sure the folder path is properly set. We have a device set right there. All we have to do is click the flash button right there. And what's going to happen is the me flash program is going to start sending. It's basically going to execute this batch file right there. And what that batch file is, it's, it's going to send a lot of these images and a lot of these files over to our POCO M3 over via the USB cable. Not only is it going to copy those files over, it's going to flash and install those images into the individual partitions on our smartphone. And that's how we revert back to the original stock firmware. All we're going to do is we're going to wait patiently. We have a progress bar right here that we can sit and watch. Now I have, have had times where this progress bar looks like it's full even though the flash is not complete. And sometimes it can take a few minutes to complete the flash process. Again, we're just going to wait. We're going to make sure we do not get any errors that pop up. Again, I know it can look like it's done or that it's stuck. And if we were showing a different status message right here, that might be possible. However, we're still good. And we're just waiting for these big files to be sent and installed onto this device. Now, if this elapsed time gets over, like, say, a thousand or something like that, 
then yeah, probably something hung up. And if that happens, you're just going to want to restart the Poco M3, boot it back into fast boot mode, and then click the refresh and flash button again, just to reset everything. So as we finish up, we're going to see this flash done message pop up right here. We're going to notice our Poco M3 reboot. And then we're going to see this success message over here on the right. When that happens, we can unplug the USB cable and just wait for the phone to reboot. Now you got to remember, we basically did a factory data reset but just a very big one. So this first boot cycle back into Android is likely going to take longer than normal. Again, we're just going to be patient and then wait for it to boot us into the Android activation screen. And if you notice, the Mi Flash program didn't take longer than 650 seconds. If it does take longer than that, if you notice that your uh, timer is elapsed, say, over a thousand, then there's likely something that got hung during the process. And you're just going to want to restart. You're going to want to reboot the phone and set up the me flash program again usually this stuff goes through with no problem you gotta remember there are some bugs left in this basically development software these programs are not meant for users and customers of these devices So if you've noticed that you have to restart or retry the Mi Flash program, that's fine. That's normal. So I'm going to go through this setup process real quick. And there we have it. That is the Poco M3 so that is how to unbrick the Poco M3 and return it to its stock MIUI firmware